All right, ladies and gentlemen, um, welcome back to the, this Thursday evening. Um, we are going to cast a NIU Overwatch match. It is NIU versus Ohio University, I believe. Uh, I am Last Shot, the, your commentator tonight, and I'm joined with uh, one Spade GG. Um, Spade was with me last Saturday, and uh, he is coming back once again. And uh, this time around, we have a cameraman for Sean Boyd Q. He will be um, directing the in-game camera and uh, helping us out here today. Thanks, Hunter. I'm glad to direct an use Overwatch game. Oh, yeah. More than welcome. So right now we're just waiting for um, the players to make final substitutions and then uh, eventually choose the map here for our first game. It looks like it's going to be Nepal off the start once again. Um, this is the first map we played last time on Saturday versus Northeastern University. And uh, we will um, see what it is coming up here pretty soon. Looks like both teams give gave the ready, and uh, hopefully we'll be starting here within a minute or so. And just like that, we are on our way. <clears throat> Nepal, I remember this. Uh, and then you had to seem some uh, had seen. Like they had some very glaring problems last time we played this map. Uh, specifically, the pathing on um, village. So I want to see if hopefully this week if they've played stuff something like that up so that they can you know have a better chance from the get go and be able to play those comps draw uh, well as well as specifically the sanctum. I remember being uh, seemed like very unprepared as um, the enemy uh, north northeastern at the time seemed to have a very specific comp for the map and and IU not really changing much up from the past two maps. So let's see how their game plan has changed from week to week as we see an interesting, it seems like they're gonna be a Ryan Zarya match on both sides, but Ohio seems to want to take the long range hit scan, the Ash and the Kari here. Wait, a Hog Zarya actually, oh, never mind. Okay, I was gonna say that would have been very, very off of a, out of, very, very interesting to see a team pick that. There. Oh, All right, as it seems, they taking the point here. Having Lucy was a big advantage here. The Ryan is able to push the Berg into the corner. They're gonna be able to they get the finish there. Big shatter coming in from Ohio there. They're able to get the shatter all before the points even captured. And that uh, shatter is going to be able to get multiple picks there and capture the point for Ohio. Very quick, very fast fight coming out there from Ohio to take the point, get control very quickly. Able to get uh, a big pick on the Rhine early. They're going to be able to take the point extremely quickly here with the use of this Lucio, just like they were able to in the first fight. Bap Winder does come out, but after two hours being down, doesn't seem like they're going to have enough point presence to be able to get back into this as, yes, NIU able to take the point there very cleanly, very quickly, and not having to invest much, not more than a shatter there. Hello? Can you hear me, Spade? Yeah, there we go. We can no, hear you sorry now. sorry about that. Um, yeah. Very, um, very well said, and uh, we'll see what Ohio does here, looking to uh, take this point back. Right now, walking up, holding the choke here. Seems like Ohio rotating around. See, the one thing I find... Oh, speaking of... Uh, here, a grab, grab. Blizzard comes out from both, or from... Uh, Blizzard from uh, North NIU and NIU. Grab for Ohio State. 
but it looks like the Blizzard was just such a better zoning ult, and it limited what Ohio State could do there, and that's why NIU just won that team fight. That, including the early wall off on the Zarya, mm -hmm. there's no way they were going to be able to get any follow up on that Graviton right there. I was just able to pick off the Zarya before the fight even starts, and yeah. once they get into that, uh, having a 6v5, it's really hard to lose those. As you can see right now, NIU really struggling from not having Lucio. Lucio running, it reigns supreme on these. Uh, oh, Ohio State. Oh, what? Oh, Ohio State. Sorry. Yeah, it's all good, but there's a big that lamp shattered. to keep him alive right there. Even though off the of big shatter, but the picks are coming in for NIU here. Really NIU. taking advantage of the pressure they just put with their alts in place. Brig getting quite a bit aggressive and actually dying for that. I don't like that Brig play coming from, I want to say it's Dupe Deer? How would you say that, Spade? Uh, well, I feel like Dupe would be a safe way to call uh, it. And, uh, you know well, what? As you can see, they're pulling out the Lucio, but I mean, it's already 85%. It yeah, with, with the like Lucio is even worth it here. Yeah, mm -hmm. Re really going to be tough to get value here. Good wall to split Another off the high noon and the two main tanks for able Ohio. To, and the cleanup yep. is just there for NIU. Just able to follow up. NIU playing this point really, really well. Ohio making some really big mistakes early there. Uh, yeah. Just not able to recover. They weren't able to get the point first. They were able to get that shatter to retake point, but mm -hmm. after they lost it, never seeming to have re been able to regain control. Uh, NIU really, you know, playing a lot better there than uh, we saw, at least compared to last week, where it was um, a, a bit of a blowout, I might, might add. At yeah. least on that map in particular. Yeah, going back to last week, like you said, I think the problem for them was not closing the distance and uh, allowing uh, Northeastern to have so much space to just get free poke damage in, and they couldn't really take a team fight. So using that Lucio and getting some better May walls there really helped them win sanction. Indeed. And yeah, the, <clears throat> the May walls were massive there. Ohio was never able to play around those May walls, and almost every fight came down to one of the tanks getting walled off and then just dying because, yeah, not able to make the switches to uh, take the pathing necessary Ooh, yeah. again this is this is that pathing we talked about last week they lose control early and losing control again to a may sim is just so yeah, but, hard to retake on this map but the early may cool. wall though does split off northeastern just a bit to, for niu to retake this point now it's just a, a big brawl fest with the main tank on ohio going down early and it looks like NIU might just cap this point. NIU was luckily this time able to use a speed boost to get onto point before Ohio was able to take complete control of that point. And it, luckily they were able to rebreach that. This um, Ohio team just not able to take their advantage fast enough and they ended up paying the price there, just losing that fight. Yeah, Getting and walled off once again, having to use a ability, key abilities like Emor very, very early into the fight. And at the same time, I don't think I've seen uh, a solid Maywall come out from Lando just yet. And as I say that, he does switch the Junkrat. I do like this pick, but the Reinhardt just walled off is brutal for uh, Northeastern. He's taken out of the fight already. Doesn't get a pick on the counter pin, and he eventually falls in Northeast. I'm sorry, Ohio State might just have Ohio's to back able off. able to get a good pick, but nope, it's going to get traded back out in return. Now with numbers advantage again, NIU just holding this high ground. Mm -hmm. And this uh, this is looking really, really good from NIU right now. They are holding their positions correctly. It seems they are just not... They, these May walls are just Yeah, I was going to say, really, these May walls, for sure, have been really the deciding factors of these fights. Just these splitting off the main thing. Yeah, most of these fights are really just being decided before they even start with the main tank just being instant. There you go, it's another like main wall. The junk the junk it's it's automatically a 6v5 and a big Windage shatter big coming shatter. from Thorgot here. The follow up is there, but mail coming out from another NIU. one. Oh my, big this is a very. It's not gonna be enough there. Wow. Big shatter coming out from uh, Storm, but just. The, the follow up just wasn't there, Spade. Was not there indeed. It was. Uh, I think by the time he landed at Shatter, about two people on the on his own team were dead, and, uh, and, and they had a blizzard right power. behind them coming in. It wasn't yep. looking too good. Just gonna be hard to follow up there as we come into and last fight territory with, with no alts now for Ohio. This is gonna be a tough fight for them to take coming into a death blossom grab and beat drop. And with Wait, the white part split again, this is a counter too good. grab, and oh, that's the, the combo. Yep, away. that's that combo that we were looking for. 
these yeah. alts coming in in mid fight and wow very clean coming in from niu there yeah. a lot better than what we saw last week they seem to definitely have cleaned up well, quite that a bit was, of their play yeah that was for sure a uh statement match coming off of uh last week's loss they were uh not happy with the performance last week and really wanted to show um hey they're a top team in this game indeed playing like that i mean that was that was just really impressive especially from i would say mvp of that map would be hydro there with just those massive walls mm -hmm. and everyone able to be able to follow up on those walls just great team play all around as you can yeah. see i mean just look at that kp from the zari and the baptiste uh respectively 70 each uh -huh. just very impressive coming out there that was a quick map it doesn't get cleaner than that for team play from niu on that map coming off of a uh, like i said a tough loss on nepal against northeastern they really showed uh they can play together and clean it up to win these maps as it seems we're going to be going to icon world next now this isn't a map we saw last week last week uh not? we saw king's row if i'm king's uh, row, not yep. mistaken yep as the uh hybrid so icon world Definitely not as May heavy as we've seen some of these maps as of recent. May, of course, still a good pick, but I mm -hmm. mean, I would say this second point really revolves around that high ground. So running things yeah. like the dive, running things like these medium to long range hit scan, mm -hmm. very, very strong. So yeah, we're probably going to see uh, what what the meta is known as a uh, double bubble is coming out, which would be a Zarya and a Winston here. Uh, very good to support the dive but also provides a lot of frontline pressure that uh, NIU's DPS can follow up with. Indeed, so it'd be really interesting. This is also very, uh, I'd say, very hard to execute comp, so it'd be very interesting yeah. to watch if either of these teams are able to pull this uh, comp off at the, you know, the necessary required level to win the map. One of the harder comps to play in the game, I would say, at least, just because yeah. uh, very, uh, very different compared to your traditional dive or traditional rush comps, which you'd see some of these tanks and, like, the, uh, the Winston or the Zarya. Yeah, yeah it, it does require a lot of coordination to run, actually, because the Winston really can't support or get too many picks by himself. He's really the distraction, the front pressure to allow the Zarya and the DPS to pave the way for that comp. And uh, if they're not working on all cylinders here, then uh, it might just not be able to uh, work out for either side. But it looks like a uh, double it's shield. Orisa comp. I've yeah. been seeing this picked a lot more recently, actually. Uh, something that's been se seeming to gain popularity. I don't know exactly where this comp started getting a lot more popularity, but it's definitely something uh, something that's a re pretty solid, uh, I would say pretty solid, uh, uh, just team comp in general. I find it interesting. I find it interesting how we are seeing the Ash here, but we're not seeing a pocket on the Ash, so it's going to be very hard for this Ash to get as much value as you ch usually want to. Mm -hmm. Also seeing the Junk here, they seem to have a certain affinity towards the Junk, uh, Ohio does. But, uh... Yeah. Oh, are they doing it? And I might be trying top? to go over the top here. In a very oh. sneaky play, but doesn't look like they pulled it off, they so can, it's going to be a, probably a switch coming out no. for NIU, unfortunately. No, they're sticking it. They're sticking it. Oh, they're sticking it. Oh, See, they got they, it. They did get it, and now they're trying to catch Ohio Going on guard. Going over the top. Quick here. This Reinhardt got pinned, and he falls oh. quick. The Reinhardt able to get a really good pick early, as well as getting one on the Ash. Storm misses his charge, ends up hitting a little uh, wheelbarrow, it seems. And Fergot able to just take advantage of that, pins him completely out of the fight, and what a very clean fight win. That was, wow, not even... That was almost a 15-second fight, would, would you say? Something... Yeah, it was uh, very, very clean from uh, NIU. Surprising Ohio State with an over-the-top Maywall Temsel sim teleport not a common strat you see but it is a good one to catch um catch teams, teams off, guard, off yes. guard who aren't prepared for it and can't make the rotations that are needed to defend from it Ooh, now this farah coming out from ohio farah can be very good on the second point here my but only this problem reinhardt is no mercy. off does d manage to escape with his life escaping around that, that corner but matter, though, two find two on the bridge already. He, he's, wow. he, find, he loses his life for it, but I think the damage is already done for uh, NIU here to clean up this fight and just get some more free payload push. Wow, NIU just almost spawn camping here, walking all the way up to the third po uh, second point by itself, and point has barely just crossed the archways. Just yeah, I mean, if, if they take these fights close every time, they don't really have to be contested on cart, so... I, I'm not hating what I'm seeing from NIU here, but this fight's going to be pretty tough with alts coming online from both sides. 
This one will be interesting. This is probably Ohio's best shot here. Oh, oh wow, the counter shatter and as he's already walled off. Yep, there's nothing he's gonna be able to do there. Again, yeah. we're just seeing these yeah. gray walls just Again. solo in fights. Mm-hmm. Hydro, like the Reinhardt Shatter, even though it was pretty impactful on the play, the May Wall just split any follow up that was given to it. And NIU just get a free second point. Ryan again, wow. This and is even dope. finds more picks off of the retreat from Ohio here. Really just trying to take it to them. Don't let them get any positional advantage. And uh, force fights early that Ohio State or, yeah, Ohio State probably doesn't want to think. Or University. I think. Either way, Ohio doesn't want to take. Yeah, Ohio, yeah, just not, they're just not really ready for any of these fights. These fights are just coming at them so early. Wall comes out early. With the, the high noon, picks up one, kills Bob pretty quick here. And uh, the Reinhardt dies as well, even after a uh, bat wall comes out for NIU. So another clean fight, and Ohio sure. really needs to step it up with this graph here if they want to hold on the third point I can vault. This one, this is... Looking pretty rough here. Wow. Just, yeah, the, just the May walls, man. Indeed. Just Ohio not having an answer for any of these May walls. Just consistently getting picked fight after fight. Their tanks just being caught out of position. And it is just. Hydra is just completely taking advantage of this team right now. And where they don't seem to be correcting any of their. Um, their shortcomings, it seems. Not at least not on the fly through map their map, because I mean that's two maps now. We've just seen these Mabels just completely own, and I mean, yeah, it just not much that it seems to have been changed from the tank line of Ohio coming out here mm -hmm. or support line either. You do have to keep this in mind, though, Spade. It is tough to break down this May comp if uh, one team is not on all cylinders right away. Um, I don't know how new this Ohio team is, but. If they haven't had much um, practice dealing with these May walls on how to counter them, then it's uh, really tough to defend against it. And their mental might be shot already, losing uh, Nepal pretty quick and now a pretty quick Eichenwald take as well. They really have to uh, take a hard reset here and figure out a way to break this NIU defense. Definitely. This is definitely going to be an uphill battle, as we saw. That was, I will be honest, that was probably one of the the fastest Eichenwald attacks I think I've ever seen. So, yeah, that was right lightning now, quick. Ohio really, really going to need to fix their, re restabilize and br have a better showing out here on their attack. As they are rolling out here with the, their uh, May of their own. See if maybe they're going to be able to abuse the walls the way yeah. uh, Hydra was. Yeah, Lando really mm. needs to get some value. Good first May wall to get them in. Now they have to play safe going up against this enemy May wall. Hydro kind of misses it, doesn't find any big value, but Immort's already down for um, Ohio, and uh, the bat falls pretty quickly here. Wow, and Fox is just getting a pick on the bat there out of nowhere. And like I said, once we well, see again here, Hydro splitting off the main tanks, wall. just getting free mm -hmm. picks. The counter wall coming out there, Hydro actually walling second there. Lando was able to get a good uh, good wall into three of them, but no follow-up coming in there from anyone else on the on the side of Ohio. And it we saw quickly uh, when NIU was able to get that wall there, we, they were able to instantly eliminate two and just take that fight over. Yeah. This is just wow. This is definitely a, a difference in team coordination here. It seems just their mm -hmm. ability to follow up on these walls. Their yeah. ability to listen to the calls and play an ability usage as well. So now, if you're uh, Ohio here, you can't be forcing a split fight every team fight off this May wall. Uh, block Shatter from Fergot here uh, keeps NIU standing and uh, the poke coming. So now, with uh, Reinhardt all down, they have to be wary of Fergot's all here with this Lucio and Zarya split. Another big wall. What big. Wow, it is just this May just popping off, and might I add, Foxes as well, having a having a great showing as well, getting yeah. an opening pick almost every single one of these fights here. Uh, definitely help help due to the May wall, but I mean, he he on his own is just playing extremely well, and it's it's just yeah, it doesn't seem like the um, they're gonna really be able to match this uh, May May gap, I guess you could call it, uh, from yeah. NIU. And then well. I, May all looking at it here. Both teams have this May alt, but NIU has six alts online now. So now May alt comes out both sides here. Shatter comes down for NIU. 
and the pigs are just coming in for NIU here, cleaning up three. And uh, it looks like NIU will hold this fight only losing two. NIU for a second looking a little scary there, but no, yeah, they're able to stabilize and Hydra was able to get, I think that was a 3k, maybe, if not a 4k? They're yeah. Just in the back line, being a menace on this May. But, it, but if you're Ohio State there, don't feel too bad because you just forced out four ults for two. So it's not the end of the world for that push, really uh, trying to get this ult economy back and stabilize. Now they're looking like three ults coming here with a Shatter, Grav, and a Baptiste Wall. So they really have to take their advantage and uh, win this point here. It is indeed, as we can see, Grav's traded out here. <gasps> and Fox all the is Yeah, Fox is just cleaning up with his high noon and following up on the bat kills, puts this fight away once again for NIU. I actually really like that play there, the walled up high noon in the back line. Hydro able to wall up Foxes. Not only does that show the amount of team coordination that this team has, but it's also able to get the Kree into a better position mm -hmm. above the Reinhardt shield. So as long as they're able to get that uh, Baptiste immortality out of the way, that is a free high noon into the grab there. Absolutely. So. Very, very uh, high IQ plays coming out from NIU and uh, really showing their team coordination here in this uh, point. And uh, as we look at it, it's going to be final fight here with a big kill on Lando to start this fight. But Mercy does res it. It is not quite over yet for Ohio. The wall comes out. Another, the Baptiste wall. The May wall comes out. May and the ultimate comes out. Just and spade. This is just over. Mercy does get the touch, but it's probably too little too late. And just, just like, yeah, NIU. Wow. Another statement game really really wanting to show that last week's what happened last week was a fluke that they are a better team than uh that showing of the o3 that happened last week they're uh i'm gonna be honest with you they look like they're trying to speed run this one i don't know someone might have you know like some kind of dinner date or something hey. to, to after this one but wow they are really <laughs> speed running this game right oh now. my god clean shots coming out from high on that play of the game yep, didn't miss a single one wow just Great flank mailt as well there, so that well both mailts end up coming out that fight. He's just able to capitalize better on his own. Yeah, yeah. V very clean games. You can't ask for a better two maps from NIU than that. You really can't. And I mean, well, we've been here for 22 minutes. Yeah, and, and two maps are already current. Done. Looking at the current score, it's 2-0 already. Um, if Ohio wants to bring this back, they're really going to need some. Uh, to dig deep here and uh, play as a team and really get their comms, I sit, think, under check here because I think this is the biggest problem for them as of right now. Indeed. They just need to get their, yeah, like you said, comms and also just need to kind of just take a real quick uh, mental uh, reset just because yeah. uh, after losing two maps like that, to not be tilted, you would have a mental of steel. But I, you know, feel like it's a bit much to ask for from really any player just playing in a situation like this. Yeah. So I, I would like to see, you know, people in Ohio, you know, just take a real quick second, recuperate, and, you know, get back into it so when we get in this map three, maybe we could possibly see a reverse sweep. Who knows? Mm -hmm. Now, if, if this is, if you were in this situation, Spade, would you be mentally boosted right now? I know we talk about how important it is to stay strong, but have you ever been in a situation similar to this where you've been just rolled two maps? Oh, I've been on the, I've definitely been on my side of many, uh, not close first two maps and uh the real the real way that you have to be able to bring it back is you just need to have that one person on your team that one leader figure on your team really be able to instill everyone's confidence and, and yeah. as well not only that but also have someone to be able to identify what is going wrong how they can fix it and then execute those three things are massive you need to be able to not if you not only identify it you need to figure out how you can get around it as well as the execution. If you're not able to get those three things down, mm -hmm. there's no chance of, bring, of being able to bring it back for these next couple maps here. So let's hope that there's some sort of leader figure, maybe some sort of coach for Ohio that is going to be able to talk to them and bring them mentally back into this game. Flash, well, I think you might cut out again. Hello, hello. There you go. All right. So sorry about that. <laughs> um, yeah, it, it is going to be uh, pretty tough here for Ohio to bring this one back. But, you know, nothing's over until it's over, uh, Spade. And uh, it looks like map three will be going to uh, the, the payload map, uh, Route 66. Route 66. 
this map again not a very a common May map but i mean as we said the same we said the same thing about icon yes. not a very common May map there a map that we generally see run a lot more by the um hit scan so i don't want to count out the may here just because as it as we said ohio doesn't have an answer for it yet just yeah. going to be interesting to see if hydra does pick it out how he's going to be able to get use out of the walls because there's not as many tight uh, corridors at least for the first two points that uh the may can easily abuse like she can on many of the other maps that we just watched Last shot. His mic must have cut out again, but that is all right. Now, right now, hovering the double bubble, I would actually really like to see this double bubble coming out from the side of uh, uh, NIU. Uh, as I was saying at the uh, before the game even started, uh, one of the harder comps to pull off in the game, so it'd be really impressive to see if NIU has been practicing this comp in scrims, hopefully, and see uh, how comfortable they are on this comp itself. Again, seems like uh, Ohio running the Ryan Zarya. This time, finally getting a pocket for the Ash. Let's see if maybe Derp Skills is able to get anything extra done with the Mercy pocket here, as well as seeing an Echo for the first time in the series. Echo, very solid DPS character. Very heavy poke comp coming out from Ohio. So let's see how they're going to be able to run that into this double bubble, and let's see how NIU is going to be able to run their comp into this double bubble. As it seems like they're taking the fight to them, the monkey's going to be able to get to the high ground. But a big anti on the Rhine, and two people are already down on the side of Ohio. The yeah. Winston able to get such a massive play on the high ground. Tanks just completely abandoning the rest of the team. And the Winston bubble perfectly able to split it off. And Hydro on the Tonto just completely destroying. And yep, that that was a great screen. monkey play there. There you go. All right, oh, sorry, sorry about here. that. Yeah, I've, I've been having some mic problems here, but uh, hopefully uh, we can stay strong for these last uh, couple maps here, potentially. Yeah, I like what you were saying about uh, NIU's uh, double bubble that they're running here. Um, they have been practicing in, in practice just a bit, and uh, they need to execute it pretty well here today. I know, big... they're big anti coming down yeah. to both of the tanks. The Zarya already dead. Uh, McCree dropping shortly after, just like the Rhine, and just like that, four dead again mm -hmm. on the side of uh, on the side of Ohio. Yeah, another commanding team fight from uh, NIU there, really capitalizing off their uh, honors great anti heals onto Ohio State. Just great team play coming out. Oh, as it seems like uh, Fox just ends up overextending into the Zarya there. That might be their first death of the map. Yeah, but luckily, I'm not Tracer, mistaken. he could just zoom back. It's not even that hard of a, uh, a or too critical of a death, I would say, for them. With this, uh, Hanzo just throwing a lot of poke damage in already. Speaking of poke damage, just controlling both of these corridors. Yeah. Ohio State, this Winston, is just keeping this, keeping four people back almost on their own right now. Gets a little weak, is able to jump out of trouble, and Tiana just going down Hydro been playing like a monster this entire series why would that change at all in map three here mm -hmm. he needs to take care of this uh echo here and as i say <laughs> that he does instantly with the storm arrow oh, wow. coming out and that easy cleanup is coming out for equalizing off their first pick and this payload keeps rolling just <clears throat> i don't think this payload has actually been stopped since that first point choke where the ryan and zarya have rushed on to point i don't think it stopped moving since then I will, I'll, or maybe when the uh, maybe when the May came or the Mercy, excuse me, came to stop it on the second point. But other than that, I mean, I think this point is stopped moving more while moving through chokes than it has by the uh, by Ohio here. <laughs> I don't want to say you're right, Speed, but uh, we, we, you might be just, just a bit here. So uh, Ohio really needs to uh, put the put the gas pedal to the floor here and uh, show a commanding third hold if they want to stay in this game and series for that matter. It's really getting a little bit desperate here for Ohio. Ohio really needs to make something work, needs to get this team coordination down. And as we the say, that's a bad line Oh, Fox is Fergot and Hydro teaming up to find three picks and to win this fight already. Fergot, just a menace in the back line there. The Reinhardt and Zarya not able to do anything because their heroes are just held off by a monkey. And he's just... It, wow, just... This is... This is our gameplay coming out here. That's all I can describe. It really is. 
As it seems like we're finally going to be able to get ults coming out here. The ults coming out both sides here, but this Brav Hanzo, a classic yeah. Season 9 meta, is coming back here with a staple to put this point away. And that should be the end of our attack, as there it is. Four minutes and two seconds. The, the crazy thing is, Spade, that is more time than they have on the first initial push on the first point. <laughs> wow, yep. Yeah. That is... Very, very hard to do. That is good play, good team play coming out there from um, from NIU. And, just, wow. Yeah. Very, very impressive. That's That's all I can say. Yeah, no, no, there is nothing much to say here. NIU playing the game of their lives right now, really wanting probably a rematch against Northeastern after this week. Indeed, this double bubble looking very good, might I add. The Winston just able to just... He's pulling the aggro of almost four members every single time and getting two kills in that somehow every single time. His, mm -hmm. uh, his synergy with the Tracer, with the Tracer able to help him dive, him and Foxes, just getting so much value there is honestly quite impressive it's yeah just watching a winston be able to hard carry a game like this is just impressive the rest of the team able to just play the game so easily with all the space created by forgot it's yeah it, it is impressive to uh to see these teams play well together especially niu coming out this week um mm -hmm. ohio really needs to step it up here if they want to hopefully take this first point after a um, a not as strong of a performance, I bet they wouldn't have liked to show so far. So now they're running a double bubble themselves, but with not a lot of follow up with this McCree. So uh, McCree has to be on his uh, best position here, not to get picked out at the start of every fight. Indeed, this is oh my god again, Fergo just in the back line, being a menace. He's able to get the mercy, but he's traded out by the Zen there early. A good pick for the side of the Ohio, but let's see if they're going to be able to push their advantage off of this. Yeah, and uh, this, uh, the Zen, or I'm sorry, uh, who died at the start of that? Was it, uh, it was the mercy, mercy, right? Yeah, she should be able to come back quick, but it looks like they switched it up to Ana. And uh, as we say that, two picks come out for NIU to stop this payload den in its tracks. Really unfortunate. Ohio gets a big uh, big advantage there early, but they just don't seem to do anything with it. They just seem to kind of set there in point and just what it feels like just kind of wait to die, really. They're not able to get any value off of trading Monkey for uh, Mercy there, as well as the Mercy having better spawns. It really, in every fa uh, way, should be in their favor due to Mercy having better spawns, as well as uh, being able to get back to the fight faster, but now they just kind of end up sitting there on point, getting no value. Mm -hmm. And uh, and NIU able to abuse that. Yeah, looking at uh, Ohio's DPS with their team comp here, uh, they do have the range for it, but I don't know if they have the follow-up to actually get in, because the Winston likes to jump in the back line and apply pressure just like that to the Ana. Speaking but, of, wow. Yeah, just, just pop instantly. Great target focus coming out from the side of NIU there, just able to instantly delete that Winston. And even with Azaria bubble applied, it, it, it really stood no chance there. He really had none. That's that's it. wow, and that wasn't even with the Zen. Excuse me, I was about to say that's the power of the Zenyatta, but no, the only Zenyatta yeah. we're seeing right now is on the side of Ohio. Yeah, really. Uh, this really Echo waiting it. behind now, probably going to switch to the Reinhardt and maybe look for an early pin and then a quick shatter. So watch this uh, echo as we uh, see them push. And as I say that, it's the Sigma switch. And uh, he needs to find some value quick to build up this Graviton Flux. And as nice. he gets that, both supports in the back line. And he gets them both on echo with the Sigma transformation. Great play again from Fox. Just, I mean, that's just what we've come to expect this series. Fox is just really just doing whatever he feels like right now. Absolutely. And that is, it's just... He is having a fun time right now playing that echo, I can tell you that for sure. Just when you're able to get a free ring just like that and have so much space mm -hmm. created for to you by your Winston. Just extremely impressive. And as we say that, there's a uh, Winston ult in the back line here, looking for some value. Uh, doesn't get much, but <laughs> he's able to get one! For the wow. Yeah. Ends up trading out boxes and forces out the transcendence there. He yeah. is anti Is he going to be able to get oh, out? Oh, that's actually not, a crucial pick for Ohio either. here. Now they have a lot of room to work with. Coming off a uh, Echo pick and a Winston pick. It's a 4v6 if they can uh, 
take this fight pretty quick. Yeah. I really wanted- Oh, and the Grab Dragon coming out there. I really wanted to- I was about to say, I really wanted to see Ohio State take the initiative in this numbers fight, but again, NIU with the Grab combo, just these ultimate combinations and their overall team play just prevailing. Yeah, it, it, that. even it with was, the numbers disadvantage. Yeah, the Zenyatta there was the alt needed as their only defensive alt to defend off that uh, Grav Dragon. But looking back on it, it was Fergot who forced it out early in the back line, which uh, allowed one, this indeed. combo just to come through from NIU. Indeed. So just better ultimate usage, better ultimate tracking coming out on the side of NIU, just winning them that team fight there. And yes, applying the pressure, right. Reinhardt falls early on here. Hyjal switched to the Doomfist to get back quick and be impactful in this fight, but it doesn't matter. No one on Ohio can touch, and the NIU wins the series 3-0. to zero. That was... That was a game. It, it, you know, it was a game. I guess I can say that about that, yeah. Yeah, it very, was a very, very commanding confident. game for NIU for sure. It really uh, showed them in the driver's seat from the beginning to the end. Exactly, just showing off this team coordination, They're both DPS having extremely well games, as well as Fergot just really showing off that he's, he, you know, after last week, um, I remember one of the common sentiments we had about last week's game was uh, MTD, if uh, for those people who don't know, MTD is the main thing difference, because, uh, I, correct me if I'm wrong, SCL just having a hell of a game, but Fergot yeah. definitely... May, may or may not have heard those comments and definitely came out swinging this week to show you that you know I know how to play this game and yeah. I am a great main tank player as he shoot, he showed very well on both his run and Winston there just showing mm -hmm. great play for all three maps. I yeah, it, it, it was a commanding day for the NIU squad in general. Everyone having their impact plays and really just making this game a, uh, a blowout, I would say, unfortunately, for Ohio. Yeah, not going to be much of auto review for this week, really. If yeah, I'm yeah. if I'm in NIU, I'm honestly still looking back at that Northeastern game. If I want something to work, I'm, yeah, that game was really not much pushback from Ohio and just able to sweep that up in, might I add, almost sub-30 minutes. Wow. Yeah, yeah just... a fast three maps. Uh, the fastest you'll probably see for the NIU squad this season. It'd be uh, tough to beat this insane pace that we saw today. Yeah. Yep, that is. Wow, just, I mean, I really yeah. don't have much to say in that game. It was just so fast. Just... We don't have much to talk about, really. Unfortunately, there. Fights felt like they were ending before they even started. I, I'll <laughs> yeah. be honest with you. It felt like you know we'd start calling a fight, and by the time we even said our first sentence, two picks had already came in through, came through for the side of NIU, and mm -hmm. just yeah, dumb. Wow. Well. So. It was, uh, that was the series. It was NIU versus Ohio. I, I believe university, correct me if I'm wrong, but I am uh, a bit unaware if it was state or university, but either way, NIU dominant performance on this Thursday evening. Um, we will be back. I want to say Saturday at six or seven. Um, so mark your calendars for that one. Uh, the match is to be determined still, but, uh, it'll be for sure a good one coming out from the NIU boys. Other than that, um, commanding day, Spade. Really can't say much more than that. Again, NIU. Yeah. Really coming out, showing what they got. Showing that they they demand respect when it comes to these higher-level teams. Hopefully, um, Saturday, we're able to get a bit closer of a game where we're able to hopefully not just get another 3-0 three, three from, you know, mm -hmm. coming out from either side. I'd really like to see a four- or five-map series coming out from one of these teams or one of these games. Yeah. Uh, would really, yeah, and hope to see that. Hopefully, um, yeah, I, that's about it. And hopefully, someone from Northeastern is watching this one uh, because it was a much different team this time around, showing a uh, dominant performance. And I think this was their uh, their statement on uh, the the college Overwatch uh, League here coming out. Indeed, it's funny. We actually had um. Two back-to-back three -back O's uh, from three O last week to the three O this week, but yeah, I would say those three O's were probably about as different as a three O can get from Absolutely. one of the closest three O's I think I've seen in a long time to one of the most dominant three O's I think I've seen in a long time as well. Yeah, Just. so I believe that'll be it for uh, this stream and uh, this uh, series here. Uh, it was a pleasure to cast it. Very different match from uh, Saturday's Thriller, even though NIU lost. But 
Today they came back and won 3-0 against Ohio University. So for now, I think that'll be it. Thank you for joining me, Spade. It was a pleasure. Always a pleasure casting with you, Last Shot. Absolutely. And thank you to uh, Sean Boy Q for uh, running the stream and managing the camera for us. It uh, really helps out with production, and uh, hopefully we get a better uh, stream quality for the viewers here. So thank you once again, Sean. Uh, no problem. Thank I'm glad to be here. Well, we appreciate you, Sean. You uh, make uh, the stream run better than you know, or than the viewers know. You are the true MVP to this casting team. And uh, from all of us at uh, NIU um, Esports, we thank you for watching, and we will see you next week.